We need to document Ukraine because we are confronting a cataclysm, not just a war of aggression, but a war of destruction, a war that in design and in practice was meant to destroy Ukrainian society, a war that includes not just a military invasion, but also various kinds of attempts to deport Ukrainians, to execute Ukrainian elites, to ensure this winter that Ukrainians have no access to energy or to power. That's the objective side. But what we mean to do when we document Ukraine is to ensure that the subjective experience of the people concerned is recorded. In time of war, more so than in time of peace, all of the methods that we have to understand humanity. Here at the IWM, we looked around and thought, what could we at the Institute do to make a contribution to the Ukrainian scholars and cultural figures who we've had relationships with? So we launched a program called Documenting Ukraine, which we see as having two main purposes. The first of which is to support the scholars, cultural figures, journalists, archivists, people in Ukraine who are doing amazing work to create a multifaceted record. As of December 2022, we have around 200 people and organizations who have received support from Documenting Ukraine. We're also working with writers and public intellectuals, those who may not so traditionally be seen as part playing this role. We are also working with journalists who are reporting on the front lines and also on the home front, capturing stories of what life is actually like amidst the war. This could be stories of soldiers, but also soldiers of the Ukrainian population. We're also working with visual and performing artists who are bringing artistic interpretation to their understanding of the war. Ukraine is my, is my home. I came from Kyiv with my son when the full-scale invasion started. So I arrived in Vienna in, in April 2022. We're really happy to build the Ukrainian community under the IWM umbrella because in this way we are gathering people that we treasure, that we value and that we want to keep going. People who are surprising us every day with the results that they're providing. We are aimed to get this compassion by making Ukrainians speak and by making them being heard. People here are gathering materials, putting them into collections, thinking about what is going to be of value to scholars and others down the line when they come to understand what has happened here. We are supporting people who are doing what they do best so that Ukrainians as individuals and as a society can have a voice.